Hey everybody, Bubble the Vulture is here. It's time for more Let's Play Tecmo Super Bowl. We've got one more week in the regular season, and we're going to crush it. Let's take a look at the schedule. We have the Colts. So, let's go ahead and uh, auto-skip to week 18. And that's going to be it. There's not much else to it. I guess we could take a quick look at our quick look at our team. See if Jim Kelly's doing okay. He's not doing that great. He's not feeling good. He's feeling average. But even not feeling great, Jim Kelly is still a better quarterback. So, going to have to stick with him. I don't know that bad actually means, like, more prone to injury. Not really. It's one thing I've never been able to uh, determine about the uh, physical status of guys. And yet, I go and look anyway. Let's go ahead and start the auto-skip games. I think there's one to skip before we get going. Week 18. More like strong 18. And it's a nice sunny day sweeping the clouds away. So we are the Buffalo Bills, and we will kick it off. Here with the weather, Steve Christie. Clear skies. Expect that to remain so for the duration of this game. Allow Steve Christie to use his superhuman, faster than Thurman Thomas running speed. Still doesn't manage to get all the way up there before they, before they get stopped. Wow, they have some really nice pass plays here. Clear skies, no chemtrails in sight. Chemtrails. All right. So he got the reception. Don't let that. Uh, don't let that phase you. That, they uh, pretty much messed up on their own, which I'm happy to accept. Good, I think I may have called the correct play here. Nope! But that's alright. Rush in for a sack anyway. Add to that wonderful leader in sack record that Cornelius Bennett already has. Fourth and 29. Good job, guys. You let him get the one first down. But after that, you did a good job. Oh, good! We blocked it! Touchdown, Touchdown by Nate Odoms! Score one for the special teams. <laughs> Oof, that might be a little wide. Nope, just enough. All right, Christy. Use those cyber cyber enhanced legs. <sighs> ran so far, he ran totally clear of the uh, receiver. So I've got these new headsets. Um, they're very nice. Um, the microphone, I think, is a little bit better than the one that I uh, end up using. Uh, with uh, JG on uh, the SmackDown videos because I have two identical ones. Uh, that's right, Lethal, it's football time. You are here to catch the tail end of the regular season. 
<laughs> Touchdown, Jeff Wright. <laughs> Told him I got there's a stream I gotta watch. Oops. That's oh. And here I was about to talk up how how amazing the uh what an amazing job the special teams is doing. Gotta watch this guy play a video game football. I know everybody's got New Year's celebrations, but uh come on. It's Tecmo Super Bowl. I wish there was a violent football game where people lose limbs, blood drenched fields, and everything. That would be awesome. I can at least I can think of at least two off the top of my head that do that. Um, there is mutant league football uh, for the. I know it's certainly for the Genesis. It might have also been for the Super Nintendo. And uh, what's the name of that uh, relatively new turn-based strategy style football game? Is that Blood Bowl? Yeah, Blood Bowl. So there's that one, too. Um, both of them have kind of a fantasy setting. There aren't any that have, like, relatively realistic human beings. What the... What the... He's the quarterback. <laughs> Stop that. Rip the dream of dismembering Tim Tebow. That's, I mean, yeah, like, there's not one where they have, like, you would, like, not a matcher just wants a football game where he can murder people. I see. And when you tell your therapist that, what does your therapist say? Oh, Hazel just got up. I wonder whether or not I was uh, too excited and uh, woke Bean, who was taking a nap. Yeah! Well, I mean, most people, when they talk about fantasy football, they're talking about... Uh... Oh, come on! There was a guy actually cuddling him there. You're telling me that's not a block? Excellent positioning. Gotta give them that. BB! BB! <laughs> yeah, the actual NFL where everyone got injured. That's what I'm saying. They're having a rough year. Ratings are down and everything. I was joking before I realized I was going to be able to do this stream right now that uh, I was going to have to emulate the real NFL and uh, reschedule my New Year's Eve game because I didn't think I was going to be able to get any uh, play in. Okay, that's the end of the quarter. That's fine. Ratings are down, both both because uh, you know, you know, the, the controversy about patriotism and whatever, and also because um, a lot of people are just getting hurt, and uh, a lot of sports end up having that problem when, uh, ouch. When uh, you start really realizing that these guys are getting uh, seriously messed up, it takes some of the fun out of it. Yeah. I mean, it's probably some of it is just these things come and go in waves. But, uh... Nah, we can still make this happen. 
do it again, Thurman. Oh, we couldn't make it happen. Honestly, part of my logic with going forward on first, on uh, fourth down most of the time anymore is that pretty much just comes down to whether or not they get one lucky play. Oh yeah, in Nintendo World Cup, you could injure uh, players on the other team to the point where all of their guys were at maximum injury level. So uh, the moment they got like rushed, they would all just fall over. Third and 22. And see, like, they could come back and, like, run this away to a touchdown. They're not going to, but they could. Super Mario Strikers, I have not played. I think I actually picked up a copy not long ago at a uh, giant flea market in San Antonio. Now, can we run this in for another touchdown? No. A terrible game of, uh, oh, Texans and Steelers. Yeah. You know, I tell you what. I unfortunately anymore am beginning to find myself predisposed to disliking Pittsburgh sports franchises. Um, and it's come about in a sort of a roundabout way. Now, Pittsburgh, in general, I feel like, has a larger sports team diaspora than a lot of places. I remember specifically when I was interning in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. There was a Steeler bar in Myrtle Beach. Like Steelers? Myrtle? Okay. Um, and they seemed to be pretty popular. But, uh... Oh, pardon me. Aha! Microphone with swivel arm mute. Hut, hut, hut. But, um... So you will find a lot of Steelers fans in places other than Pittsburgh a lot anyways. And, uh, of course, uh... There is a rivalry between the uh, between the Washington Capitals and the Pittsburgh Penguins in the NHL because if you watch the NHL at all, you will know that the Capitals tend to make the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs in the postseason, not the actual like finals, uh, pretty much every year, and end up getting eliminated by the Penguins every year. Penguins go on to win it, but along in the way they take out the cap somewhere along the line before the finals. Um, so, you got a lot of smart Alec Pittsburgh fans, and if you know them, and you hear them talk about that, then all of a sudden they're your sports buddy, because, like, you'll talk to them because, oh, you know, it's a rivalry, and, uh, you know, you wanna... You're, you're both interested in this series intensely. So, uh... Then you end up hearing about everything else. You end up hearing about uh, the Pirates. You end up hearing about the uh, you end up hearing about the Steelers, and uh, yeah, it gets a little it gets a little it gets a little tiresome after a while. As I imagine, it must get so tiresome to hear me talk about DC sports teams. It's weird. I feel like DC does not have a lot of sports fans outside of DC because DC is one of those cities where like there's not that large of a native population. It's people who come here and adopt it as a hometown rather than get born and raised here. Yeah, the pirates aren't, but uh, you know. Honestly, I enjoy a good game. Of the nice thing about going to a baseball game is that. Uh, the teams are so large and the lineup so varied that uh, any given day you could have a really good lineup of your really bad team going against a really bad lineup of a really good team. So you could see the Pirates 
lose to the Astros next season and be like, what? They were the World Series champs and we just beat them. Ah. And it's, you know, it's, it's all down to sort of a little bit of luck, but still. Let's take a look at our halftime stats here. We have a um, pretty even tail of the tape in terms of yardage. But again, it's been those incredible special teams plays and uh, just sort of defensive turnovers uh, that uh, the Buffalo Bills have managed to sweep up and uh, capitalize on to get most of their points this uh, this game. You'll see there, Jim Kelly only completed half of his passes, only got 25 yards out of it. When's the Super Bowl this year? Shoot, I gotta look that up. I'm gonna guess it is early Feb, right? You gotta make sure you're not traveling, right? Yeah. Not that far off. I still have to stream the uh, the playoffs. Sounds like a search engine question, but... Uh... I believe what you meant to ask, Zerf, is when is Bobo Bowl 3? Listen, you. Zerf is just trying to put text into the chat to make to give it the appearance of some real activity going on here. That way, uh, Mixer will just shower me with unsolicited partnerships, as I know they are wont to do. First down. You have a Google Home. You could have just asked. You have a Google Home, Zerf. Your Google Home is going to find out, like, all of your baby's deepest thoughts and, and feelings because it's just a little baby and it doesn't know to uh, be careful because Google is listening. All right. Hey, Google. Find me some poutine. <laughs> right. Hey, Google. Play Careless Whisper by Wham. Nice! I'm controlling the audio in Zerf's home right now. I mean, I guess I hope I didn't make you buy that song, but... Nice job, Kenneth Davis. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let that song play out for Zerf, and uh, maybe if I remember later on, uh, we can think of another thing to make his Google Home do. Piano keys. There are no cheat codes for cross country Canada. We can give it a try, Lethal. I don't know what will happen, and we'll only hear Zerf's description of it, but. Okay, Google. Enter panic mode. The terrorists are here. Oh, that was too strong a kick. I was distracted by the terrorists. <laughs> okay, Google, initiate Operation Trick Trap. <laughs> Can 
<laughs> Operation Caught Out. It listened and then did nothing. <laughs> that sounds like it was paralyzed with fear. The terrorists won. Oh my god. See? It's just one play and they'll get it all back. It's alright though. It's the third. We're up by three scores. Um, actually, more than that. Boom! What are they teaching these robots? They're not teaching them emergency preparedness. That's clearly true. Ah. Desperately tried for the dive. You're lucky that bounced out of bounds, bruh. But you're unlucky that you fumbled it, so I guess it all balances out. Good positioning, once again. Right on the 20. That's where I end up. Let's try something I don't do very often. Hail Mary! Yeah, there's a reason I don't, because uh, they pretty clearly see through that. That's not what I meant to do. Okay, Google. Order a Jim Kelly jersey, size XL. Well, I'm gonna guess that uh, that was about as effective as uh, this offensive drive. Why can't you? <sighs> Thinks I'm drunk. Oh my gosh, we got the giant forward pass with the foot. It knows I'm a guest. Oh, so I can only play music for you. Hey Google, play Puppies Are Forever by Sia. Hey, Google, play Puppies Are Forever. Boy, I'm getting shut down here in the last quarter, aren't I? But you can make it all back in one play. Lovely, lovely. And they call for the timeout with that. I should make them burn all their timeouts. Have I gotten anything from the Steam sale? Yes, I got Total Extreme Warfare 2013. So now the question will be whether or not to write the red guns hiding back there. It's way louder than Careless Whispers. I can't hear you now. Oh, whoops. First down. Yeah, I got Total Extreme Warfare 2013. Um, 
so the question now will be will I get to playing that first or will I get to going back and playing Extreme Warfare Revenge from like 2006 or whatever <laughs> because I said hey is that uh, is that caused it a problem Yay! We did it, everybody. Couple of lucky slash good turnovers, and uh, it occurs to me that I am running up the score now, and I really need to not do that. Because uh, we're rolling into the playoffs, guys. This is going to be the last regular season game. I gotta be wary of snapback. Now, that may all just be superstition, but. Uh, I got a sneak in suspicion. Should have sat my starters. You know, I was seriously thinking about subbing, uh, about subbing Kelly, letting Frank take a start. Frank Reich take a start. But we'll see what his physical condition is like. Alright, just, just stop him before he makes... Well, okay, don't stop him before he makes the first down. What am I so worried about? The clock's gonna run out here before they can make a call. Oh, they made one last play. This is gonna be their last ditch, folks. What do we think it's gonna be? Think it's going to be that bottom right pass play? I sure do. That's what I'd do. And it wasn't, but that's all right. We stopped him anyway. And 14 whole run yards. In that game, our pass, our passing game went a little bit better that time. She's pretty insistent about that song. Oh, I guess I was. Yeah. I was passionate about it. It's like, hey, you gotta do it. Hey, Google, play We Are the Champions. There we go. Just in time. Although, theoretically, I would have, uh... I would have timed it differently, because, of course, that song starts slow. Really, that song starts with We Will Rock You, but uh, I don't know whether or not Google considers that two separate tracks or one. They're your classic rock and roll twofer. Alright, let's finish out the uh, regular season here. Then we can take a look at uh, our regular season stats. Stats. <laughs> Go Packers. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> they were divisional champs. I was allowing them their moment. It's okay. I sometimes say Go Packers for fun and amusement. But uh, Bean doesn't like it, because, uh, you know, she's a Viking person. Played some techno We Are the Champions? That's weird. Oons, 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 oons. There you go. So we lead ours. Pittsburgh leads theirs. Got the Chargers and the Chiefs. The Chiefs are still in there. Eagles still in the playoffs, and so are the Vikings, honey. Still a chance. And there's the red gun. It's 
So they get a buy. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do my eyes deceive me? The 49ers didn't make the playoffs. The 49ers are the other team that in Tech Mobile house rules are often prohibited from playing as because they're OP. And they didn't make the playoffs. And I know what all of you must be thinking. Who takes up the mantle? Logically speaking, historically speaking, it would be the Cowboys. They do have a first round bye. They'll get straight up there. Don't tell me you weren't you weren't wondering. I know you were wondering. I know you are wondering, even now. By the way, when I move this all the way over to the left, the uh, culminating match of um, the NFL season is... Sup, B? But also... It's cocked. It's locked. It's ready to rock. The red gun has an easy path to the Ur Owl. This could be the death of me. I mean, I suppose it could literally be the death of me. It could also just be the ruination of this series right, right when it was getting to its... Uh, crowning moment. Bubble Bowl 3 brings an end to Tecmo Super Bowl. I... I mean, it certainly brings an end to this version of Tecmo Super Bowl. There are many Tecmo Super Bowls out there. I have an NES version. I also have another version uh, that I picked up not too long ago. Hey, Kit. How are you doing? want to be cuddled. You want to be patted on. You are cold, aren't you? It can't be a sad end. This is supposed to be the right timeline where the bills were unstoppable. That's right. Let's take a quick look at the team data here. Let's take a look at uh, Kelly's physical condition. He has improved to average. He just needed to get a little bit of workout in. And let's take one last look. Now that the regular season is over, this will be our closing statistics for our NFL leaders. Cornelius Bennett ended the season with 34 sacks, 10 over the number two, who was also Keith Willis. Ha! Huh. We don't have a lot of interceptions. So, uh... We're not going to be that great in this category. Primarily because we don't give a lot of passes up. Thurman Thomas will be the NFL's leading scorer. Cracked the 200 mark for the season. 204 points. That's at 34 touchdowns. The 49ers also apparently had, boy, they must have had nearly the amount of scoring that we did. Moore had a great uh, three punts this whole season. Thurman Thomas, yep, pretty solid in number three in the overall rushing. 
excuse me. And where did Jim Kelly end up? Did he end up in seventh? He ended up in seventh. Had a pretty good completion rating, about two-thirds of his passes. He's nowhere near the passinest QB out there. And nowhere near number one in yards. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at um, the rankings. Yeah, the 49ers, the number two offense in the NFL, still did not make it to the playoffs. Mind-boggling, folks. Number two offense in the NFL, I'm going to guess had... Well, let's take a look at the standings here. Four hundred and forty points on the season. So... Not number one, but up there. Oh, they're like number three, number four in uh, in points of the season. Still didn't manage to make it. <sighs> My jaw's on the floor, guys. I I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on. I'm stunned, and when we come back next time, we're going to be, well, we're going to be skipping a couple of games, but we will be playing either the Oilers or the Steelers, so you will have to wait for the uh, divisional playoffs then, but until then, this is Bobo the Vulture, this has been Let's Play Tecmo Super Bowl, I want to thank you guys very much for watching, I'll see all of you next time. That's right, even stream is going to have to wait. I know usually you just get to roll on to the next game. But uh, we're just we're just finishing up the regular season here. But uh, everyone have a good night. Bye.